My education philosophy is that communication is essential to productive relationships, societies, communities, and I hope through writing, that through teaching effective writing strategies, I can help people to communicate better and achieve those goals. The people who inspire me the most are people who dream big and work to achieve those dreams. And I guess one of my biggest inspirations is my mom. My favorite pastime is that I like to tinker. I like to fix broken things. I like to tear things apart and make them work again. Um, whether it's a TV, a phone, uh, or a watch, I like to fix things and make them work and see the results. If I could teach in another discipline, I would probably teach something like cultural studies or mythology because I love the stories that people have told through time that document their experiences in the world uh, because I think it's fun to hear the stories from their perspectives because I think that's essential to kind of understanding humanity. Um, my favorite genre of music is probably how it would be considered indie rock. Uh, it's hard to define, I guess, because I like a lot of different musicians. Probably my favorite is the band Modest Mouse and, uh, and Isaac Brock. Uh, I just love the ingenuity and experimentation. I guess I would say my favorite movie is probably Star Wars. Uh, and I don't know if I can narrow it down to a specific one, and I'm not going to uh, talk too much about the newer ones, but uh, in 1977, when I was five, uh, I saw Star Wars, what's now A New Hope, uh, for the first time, and maybe that kind of inspired me uh, to want to tell stories later on. The last book I read, it's a difficult question because I read a lot. Uh, you know, teaching English, I read a lot of books, but the last book that I've read that I hadn't read before uh, is probably Wasteland as part of the, as part of uh, Stephen King's Dark Tower series. And I'm about two thirds of the way through and I've got four more books left in the series, so it'll probably take me a little bit uh, with everything to get that finished. If I could travel anywhere, I don't know, I guess uh, Mars? No, uh, maybe more realistically, uh, I'd, I'd like to go to Greece. I'd like to go see Athens and Sparta and those places of antiquity that I read about in mythology and the classic works of literature. I don't know, I guess the best advice that I've ever gotten, uh, I guess it, it's, uh, there are multiple uh, things, but my Uncle Chuck used to say, he used to have an expression that was, never trust a fart. And take that for what you will, uh, but when I was doing my uh, teaching education program many years ago, I had, an, I had my supervising teacher that came to me close to the end of the the, the stint of internship, and she said to me, Cameron, some people are born to teach and some people aren't, and I don't think you were. And that hurt me, but then I remembered what Uncle Chuck had said, and he said, never trust a fart. And so I took that and I ran with it, and I've tried to become the best teacher I could. All right, what is something that people don't know about me? As I used to be a cowboy. Uh, my family had a ranch uh, you know, 30 years ago, and I basically worked as a ranch hand. Uh, when my Uncle Chuck uh, got sick, uh, I fed the cattle, I counted them, I helped them birth new calves, and it was one of the most rewarding experiences of my life and I don't think most people know that.